What's up guys, T-Rex here. Today we're going to be doing some deadlifts at the Renfrew Gym in Halifax, Nova Scotia. I brought my harness with me. We're gonna try to get a good workout. We're gonna bang out some good reps. We're gonna get a good workout. And then we're gonna head down the road to a good life, get all the back accessories, a little bit of bicep work on my left. And yeah, try to see if it'll maybe carry over a little bit on this one, even though I'm not really working it right now. It's feeling good. It's a little sore from uh, legs, but honestly, legs and shoulders, but that's just how it is. Um, still feeling really good. I can fully straighten it with no problems. So overall, feeling very confident. The recovery is going really well. And let's keep this gravy train rolling. Let's bang out some good deadlifts.
Woo. Fuck yeah. 765 pounds for a very easy triple. Oh man, that felt good. No arms, too. <laughs> oh. I was actually kind of surprised with how strong that felt. Hell yeah, I'll take it. Let's keep this train going, baby. Hell yeah. Alright guys, we made it to good life. Let's uh let's bang out a little bit of back and biceps. Gonna work the bicep head, obviously. And we're gonna do a lot of different rowing motions just with one side, obviously, because I can't afford anything with this one yet, but yeah, let's bang it out. deadlift my back and bicep day obviously this is how training is going to go for a little while i'm actually really really happy with how my arm is feeling 
Obviously, I'm still not able to load it yet. I have a um, I have a Zoom call with my surgeon over in the UK on Friday, so fingers crossed for that. Hopefully, he gives me some good news and we can work out times when I can start training like my bicep again. I start incorporating a little bit more tendon and bicep strengthening exercises. But for the meantime, it's just uh, how things are going to be. It is what it is. I'm very, very happy with the way that 765, 347 kilos went today. Um, felt very strong. I easily had six, seven, eight reps if I really pushed it. But obviously, I was being conservative. I just wanted to leave it on a good note and feeling strong, which I did. Three reps felt very comfortable. And uh, yeah. And then ran over to Good Life, crushed some back, crushed some biceps, did a little bit of cardio afterwards, 20 to 30 minutes on the treadmill, nothing special. Just, uh, just trying to stay active. So, but yeah, this is uh, the beginning stages of recovery and the journey. So this is just, this is just another day in the life. <laughs> Coming back into Worlds 2023, really, really strong and really, really motivated. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, those first, 10 days post-surgery were really hard for me. I'm somebody who who needs the gym. Um, uh, it's, it's a great way for me to get my therapy. Uh, um, I know that's kind of a cliche thing to say, but it is true. Um, I, I, I get a lot of I get a lot of anger and stuff out when I'm training, uh, which is why you see it on my top list when I get all worked up. But yeah, yeah, the gym is just a huge, huge part of my life. It means a lot to me and those 10 days where I couldn't go in there, even for 10 days, just resting and doing nothing. I know it was probably good for my body to take that rest, but it just mentally really messed with me. <laughs> but anyway, I'm back in the gym now. So no complaints on my end. I'm back in the gym, I'm back training. And I can honestly say that I am not, I've never been more motivated than I am right now because I need to, I'm, I'm coming into 2023 a bat out of hell. I am a man possessed. I'm a man on a mission. I'm I'm gunning for world's strongest man, and I'm going to do everything in my power to win every show that I compete in next year. All the giant shows, the Shaw Classic, uh, the Rogue Invitational. If they invite me back, I'm I'm bloodthirsty <laughs> and I'm ready to kill. So, if you like the video, please like, subscribe, share, comment, all of that good stuff. And uh, thanks for being part of the T-Rex Kingdom. I'll see you in the next one, guys.